faster, but I will try to do that. So eyes up here. This is our purchases journal. And look at that. Doesn't that look like a really nice journal? Only one column for numbers. That is why we start with this one. So this is called a special journal. And a special journal really means that we're only recording one type of transaction in it. And for our purchases journal, we are only recording the fact that we are buying merchandise on an account. The other thing that we are going to have is we are going to now, instead of having one ledger, we are going to have multiple ledgers. We're going to have our general ledger, which is going to have accounts like cash, insurance, miscellaneous expense, our equity accounts. But we're also going to have something called our subsidiary ledger. And that subsidiary ledger is going to be, instead of saying accounts payable Don's quality market, now I'm just going to have Don quality market. Okay. So we are going to have something called a controlling account that's going to go back into our general journal or general ledger, um, but we're going to have these separate ledgers. So it makes accounting a little bit easier because you don't have as much words and going through, but you have to make sure you get it done correctly. So when we look at our purchases journal, what we've seen before on journals is the same. In the upper right-hand corner, you will always have a page number. You will find every month you will start with a new page for each journal. Okay? Now, I will tell you, page or your cash payments journal, is pro you're probably going to use more than one page in a month because you tend to write checks out frequently with the business. But you're not going to necessarily have more than one page for a purchases journal. So in December, for example, you could be on purchases journal page 12, but your cash payments could be on page 30. So they don't have to match up the same page numbers. Moving left to right, we have our first column is going to be here our date, which is the very same. And then I look right here. This is where we're accustomed to filling in our account titles. Would you agree? But look what it says. Accounts credited. That's important for you to realize because when we have to go through and post, whatever is listed here has to be credited. Here we have... It doesn't say source document, it says purchase number. So what does that mean? Before, we would have um, like check 33 or uh, receipt 77. What we're going to find now in our um, purchases journal, we're going to have a uh, purchases invoice. And, but we don't have to write P. All we have to do is write 13 or 77 or whatever. And they're going to be numbered sequentially. So if you ever find that you jump from 17 to 20, you'd be like, hey, I think I, we missed three purchase invoices. So the only thing that will go in here are going to be purchase invoices. And then we have this column here, which should be familiar to you because this is what we use for posting. And now look at only one spot here for a number. Do you need to figure out your, your accounts then? Look at, they already told you right here. Purchases DR. DR stands for debit. I, I think it's a Latin thing that we looked up last year. So that means purchases is going to be debited. Purchases is a cost account and has a debit normal balance. Here we have accounts payable as a credit. Okay? So we have physically an account right now called accounts payable that goes in our general journal. Accounts payable is a liability. It has a credit normal balance. We have in a separate ledger all the list of all of our individual accounts. So when our business gets really big, we don't have this really big book of ledgers. I go here for my general ledgers, and I go over here for accounts payable, and over here is my accounts receivable. I can keep them all separate. So when I look at using this journal, it's really fast and efficient. The only thing I'm doing is recording the, the purchases of merchandise on an account. So when I look at my instructions, only a few of them here, it says, the purchases journal for Lambert Hardware is given below. Your instructor will guide you through the following examples. Use the current year, journalize these transactions on page 10 of the purchases journal. The purchases invoices are abbreviated as P. So we have our transactions dated October 2nd. Purchase merchandise and account from American Tools for $1,230. The other thing you're going to find coming up real soon is we're going to be using cents. Most of the things that we've done so far have not included cents. It makes adding up your columns a little bit 
harder. So I'm going to put the month of October, the day of the second. My account credited. I no longer need to write accounts payable American tool. I just have to write American tools. And then I just need to put in 116. How much do I owe American tools? 1,230, right? How's that? Was that an easy transaction? The seventh, purchase merchandise and account from Harris Manufacturing. Purchase invoice 117 for $480. On the 11th, I purchased merchandise and account from Keesler Supply. Purchase invoice 118 for $780. So when you see your source document as a purchase invoice, you have, hey, this is the easiest journal to use. Because whatever they tell you, you take that account, put it in there, and that's the amount. The other thing we have to do is total and rule our journal. Remember, we always total and rule our journals on the last day of the month. So we're doing October, so how many days are in October? 31. So put the date of the 31st, and then I'm going to put total. How do I know I'm writing total instead of totals? Yeah, there's only one number. If I had more than one column to add up, then I would say totals, but there's only one, so I'm going to say total. And then you're going to go through and use your handy-dandy calculator, and you're going to add up those numbers there. So you have 1,230 plus 480 plus 780. I got 2,490. Jordan, would you agree? Yes. All right. That is totaling and proving your journal. What do you think, Dylan? Pretty easy? Well, I like this one. It, this is the easiest one out of all of the special journals. If you click on check your answer, you hopefully have them all right. Try it on your own. <laughs>